What's up, tech family? My name is Josh Sermon. I'm a web developer. And on this episode, I'm going to talk about the misconceptions about learning code. So let's get straight into it. When I was uh, learning code earlier on, um, I found these misconceptions um, as like barriers and which made me think about not getting into code. And I made these misconceptions just to erase those thoughts in our heads so that we can be the best developers that we can be. So I'm going to get into just a few strong ones that most people um, think about when it comes to coding and it will just help you all get better at understanding that these things shouldn't hold us back with regards to code. The first misconception about learning code is that you have to have a college degree in order to um, get into this field. That one should just already be erased from your head because you can, because quite frankly, 18 to 22, you're still just trying to figure out life um, and or 19 to 23, whatever time that you started to uh, get into college um, after high school, like you still have time to like figure out like, what do you want to do? And like, sometimes the computer science wasn't something that everyone was interested in. So um, that's the great thing about coding. It's just really about your determination, your drive, your consistency, and your networking. If you get those things good, you will be in a great position to land you a tech job. And I'm proof and pudding of that because I'm a self-taught dev. I didn't uh, get a boot. I didn't do a coding boot camp, which I feel like it can benefit certain people to each his own. But on my case, I just did it self-taught dev because I know um, that I could be consistent i know i can be focused and determined to learn it on my own and that's what i did so i feel like you can do it as well as long as you put in that work and um continue to learn and continue to be in meetups and continue to surround yourself around other developers you can get a job in uh, the tech field another misconception about learning code and this is a funny one is that i don't want to get into code because people that code don't interact with other people. They don't talk to other people. They're just on their computers all day. And that one is blasphemy. Just like Stephen A. Smith says, it's blasphemy. And the reason I'm saying that is because it's like, I, I know I interact with developers on a daily basis. And if you wanna be successful, if you wanna get a, a job, definitely you have to network with people because like you can apply to a thousand jobs, two thousand jobs, but I mean, if if you don't know anybody in there, like it's gonna you're gonna face like a lot of rejections, and you're not gonna. And it's not because you're not talented. It's not because you haven't put in years of work. It's just that those people haven't got a chance to to see you in a resume or a cover letter, maybe even a portfolio may not be enough for them to just trust you and want to get you an interview. But what will get you an interview is your networking, interacting with people, being able to just socialize and having somebody that you may know who has a job in an opening just popped up and they were thinking about you and now they got you an interview and you ended up getting a job. Like those things really happen. So just say it like this, coding, there are times or more, well, there are times where we literally just, literally just code and we have to get in the grind and not interacting with people. but. Trust me, you're going to interact with people. You're going to have like weekly meetups with your team. So let's just erase that task. I mean, let's just erase that misconception as well because that one will not fly in coding. The third misconception about learning code is that you have to be really good at math. Now this one, now if, if I, now I had a minor in mathematics in my bachelor's uh, degree. Now I say, I say it like this. I haven't used anywhere near close to the math that I did when I was in college in coding. And I can rest assured that you ain't got to worry about that. It's nothing that's just going to be over your head. As long as you can make sure that the computer understands that that's what 36 is a bigger number than 24, you're fine. Or you understand you make the computer grasp exactly what you're thinking when it comes to your math you're fine you don't have to do nothing that's just over the top like you was doing i'm um, in school like that's just like crazy like some some calculus and all that crazy other things like no like it's 
it's never it's not that deep like and then if it is you, trust me you're gonna get help with regards to it but in my opinion it won't be that that crazy where it's like over the top type of math where you need the biggest calculator the ti-84 and you're just trying to code everything i mean like trying to type in the numbers to figure out what's next like just relax it's not that deep so that's just erasing that misconception as well and lastly the last misconception about learning code is that i'm too old to start learning code this one here is just complete false because there are people I've seen on LinkedIn that's literally 40s, 50s, 60s, just learned code, ended up finding them a job. There's no excuses for your age. Whether you in your 20s, really good time. 30s, really good time. 40s, really good time. It really, it really just determines how bad do you want to get into this career field. And yes, you can be working a full-time job at another career and then in your off days, you can just literally try to invest at least an hour a day or 30 minutes a day, or at least just say, look, three days out this week, I'm just gonna invest some time into coding. It's literally that simple. And if you stay consistent, you will see those results and it will work out for you. Um, but like I said, you have to just make sure you stay focused. So do the most that you can with your uh, life. And if it's learning code, just be the best that you can be at it. And the results will come. So in conclusion, all these misconceptions can be put to rest because, man, they're just things that are just holding us back and being the best that we can be. And that's pretty much all I got to say. So if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and as well as leave some comments because I'm starting to get a little bit more and I'm really appreciating it and I'm looking at all of them. So be sure to write some, some comments down there below. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. So keep on coding and God bless.